phase. They did not think about it. They took away the Vi instead. And they're saying, okay, Lucid, prove to us that you can play the Lee Sin in game one of a best of five. And so he's going to get his hands on R5 Lee Sin. Information here. They know he's Premise in there. Sense, yeah. yeah, they know he's in there. Let's see if they can turn something, but nope, not going to have enough pressure from mid. And of AD course, with this composition, don't do it, fight. Lucid. Oh, he's going to go in and smite it away and actually hop away. And now, with Showmaker getting the first roam, we got a potential play as Joseph's just going to have to throw that ult in and leave perfect as now he has pulled the Rek'Sai under the turret, makes the play. And King and going in for the ult knows he can't get out as still does a nice amount of damage, but they're going to... Yeah, Kingan doesn't have teleport, so he's just going to push top side here. Perfect doesn't either, because he did commit to come down here. So Lucid's going to intercept. Yeah, trying to make a play, but with BDD here, just uh, getting in their face to push them back. So they still down the flash, but his ult is back up. Tidal wave can be massive here. And Deep Plus is looking like they're just going to opt out of the dragon. This one, I, I think they do want to fight for this. And Kingan. Over the wall, Lucid nowhere near the dragon, though. Kingen looking to push them away. And you know what? KT's going to respect it as now. Lucid over the wall. They get on top of Aiming. The package goes in. And Aiming slowed down. Just going to flash away. And this area, Yumi is so hard to lock down. As we can clearly see here, this fight very broken up at this point already. Kingen getting in onto death. And that's enough damage. Lucid with the assassination. Taking out the enemy AD carry. But now it's Perfect's turn. But Jerry just has that extra amount of mobility to get over the wall and get away from the Cassante. It's currently a 4v4 still, but you see the health bars of DK a bit low, and now with Lucid out of the fight, it does look like they'll give this one up yeah. for now. There's no way to contest you. Even with BDD out of rockets, they won't uh, have fight. Okay, well, Kingen wants to go in alone. He does have a Yumi, and they're trying to take out Perfect. They're going to get the Cassante. And I guess the fight wasn't over. And, you know, the BDD is out of rockets here, huh. so he's not able to do a ton of damage. Traded back here, and uh, the rockets he is firing. I mean, I'm just saying, <laughs> they picked Sejuani instead, Valdez. Yeah, King is just hanging out in this brush, and now they're going to use the package on him. And the, and does he care? Uh, I mean, they're going to use so much to try to lock down a Rek'Sai, who is a tank. And he doesn't care, and he buffers it with the burrow and, and gets he has out. TP. So now... No package. Okay, that's the big rocket you were looking for, Wolf. Yeah. It's okay, hit aiming, but it's also a Yumi, so <laughs> the sustain is there. And I'm not sure if DK really cared too much about it Don't at forget, all. Don't forget, Showmaker can disengage this as well. He's very low on mana, though, so he really has to be very careful. All right, Tidal Wave, a bit desperate. As now the kick comes in, but BDD is going to get away, and into the back line goes perfect, but the zoning is in place for DK. Still, the smite is going to go the way of Pilsik as a very messy fight comes in. Lucid, not really in position. King and going. And I'm not sure if DK really cared too much about it Don't at all. Don't forget, Showmaker can disengage this as well. He's very low on mana, though, so he really has to be very careful. All right, Tidal Wave a bit desperate. As now the kick comes in, but BDD is going to get away. And into the back line goes perfect, but the zoning is in place for DK. Still, the smite is going to go the way of Pilsik as a very messy fight comes in. Lucid not really in position. King and going in as he's got a Zeri and a Yumi with him to just push forward. And this is what we were talking about aiming. Just has all the room in the world to just sprint at the enemy team. KT, they get the dragon, but they lose the fight in a huge way. Yeah, very poor team fight for KT Rolster. Getting completely outclassed by D plus here. Showmaker never even needed to ult. Wasn't under too much threat. With this, Leandre is able to burn through Perfect's health bar here. <laughs> and D plus are going to start the Baron as King in with They're his Tremor sets. Away. Yeah, he knows where you are. You cannot hide. The ground doesn't lie. I mean, he knows you're standing still. <laughs> it's just, you're not going to get away. A thousand here already. I mean, you just look uh, at the support structure for the Zeri. I mean, <laughs> he's got. But it looked cool. And it's going to cost him his turret, though. Demolish is going to proc. So, no minions for you, not until we off this one Baron. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I mean, Kosik, this has been the game for him. Like, he's played relatively well. He fights either, just because the prio targets the Zeri and the Azir are so far away. And if King gets up by a package, he's like, kind of just do that. And they're just playing with their food, trying to keep them away from the Baron as it's being two man. KT have to be super decisive here. And killing aiming probably isn't going to be the way. Kosik is going to get in on time. It is incredibly low. They can't quite see it, but now they are going to. As Lucid in the front line taking a bunch of damage, and Lucid has to flash away. Meanwhile, Showmaker pretty low himself as Kingen 
getting into the back line against four people, he will eventually go down, but so will Perfect. So the tanks on both sides, the top laners do. And the Rockets focus connected. coming in. Yeah, yeah. aiming's got to be careful. He's just going to back into this one. As Kingen is TPing in and gets bubble, that's not necessarily the angle we're looking for. Thank you for the leash. Maybe it's a flip as the kick comes in, but the damage isn't there. What hell? And Pilsic gets in, and he takes it away. There is the sweep, and aiming is still alive. He is flashing on the enemy team, looking for the kills. The redemption comes forward. And how many kills can he get is really the question. He picks up two as the knockup comes in for Perfect. Maybe able to take out the Seri. Can he get the job done? Another knockup for Perfect, but it's not quite enough as Deft and Barrel. They is theirs? Yeah. So now when aiming presses ult, um, he's going to sprint at them <laughs> very, very fast. They have Again, he he's basically a juggernaut. I mean, there's, there's not... <laughs> A small amount of damage that you need to put into aiming, and you need to lock him down. Cullen comes through and barely does anything as now ult into Lucid. Or actually, that was Kingen. Yeah. He's just in the front line <laughs> like, okay, I'll just tank this up. Jungle cosplay, man. It just keeps <laughs> happening. He doesn't care. And, I mean, BB comes back, doesn't get the top turret here, but how much can he actually get done with this poke? He's out of rockets already. Yeah. And, and they're going to lose this in hit regardless. In hit will go down, for sure. The question is for on how much are they going to lose this. Lucid goes in, messes it up, and now we have a play onto the Zeri, but again, the Cassante lockdown is not enough, and he's just gonna sprint into five people, takes out Death, and that might just be enough. The kick is huge as Lucid will make up for the former play, and that should be the game. Barrel all alone, and is basically just penta fodder for aiming. Let's see if he does give it over. That's really the only question at this point. DK waiting on the wave to come in, but this game number one, have no mistake, it will go the way of DK as they start off the series very, very strong. They're gonna try to give this Penta over to Aiming. Can he get it down as a bubble? Barrel says no. Barrel, Barrel says, says no. Look at Aiming space on the player cam <laughs> as well. They want it so badly, they will take the Nexus instead. I think a worthy consolation prize is D+. Plus. Start the series off with a bang, and it's King and uh, Jin Zhao into Vagar can be quite challenging, as when you go in for the engage and you look for the ult, it's really easy to just kind of step back and lock you down once the Crescent Guard expires. Vagar's King. really a summoner. They are very valuable, but not uh, very combat heavy, you could say. Although many times they are used to win fights elsewhere on the map. As we know, teleport is very valuable. Um, we do have a bit of a tussle once again up on the top side. Ghost is going to be popped here from Kingen. Actually looking to make this happen. Waits for the hop, but the hyper procs are coming in. And Perfect is just going to flash the knockup as Lucid is here. Flash on forward from Lucid. And from no hop, he will go down. First blood given over to Kingen. Irony of that. And now, with a little bit of a roam down from Showmaker, might come through, but they're going to try to take out the Nami first. Q will miss, but it's not going to matter. Kellen flashes and dies immediately. As DK, they were trying to set up a bait here on the Pyoshik, but they will lose their Nami very early on. Can they take out Pyoshik is the real question. As we're Lucid just going to throw that ult in early on and will take him out. Now the follow-up here on to Aiming as a veteran. And he gets kicked the other way, and then they just turn on to Pyoshik, and it's just a one for zero, right? Um, oh, that extension on the stun is going to be huge. The all-out comes out, and Perfect with no Meganar in sight. He's going to try to get away from this one. It's not going to happen. It's now Pyoshik. Try to go bottom side there. It's going to be a plate of gold over to Showmaker. Once again, went fleet footwork. Yeah. He's not grasping. The reason why Azir never falls out of the meta is because he just has such a huge impact with his ultimate ability in team fights, and also his laning is... He does everything. You, you can't does stop. Mean that DK are going to try to make a move for this. Let's see when the TPs come in, as it is in the pit. Lucid just trying to zone this one away, but it goes to the forest. Death's going to smite it himself with this Q. As now trying to turn on the Showmaker, the damage not quite there. In goes Pilsic, immediately gets shuffled out. And that might just be the end of this one, although they're trying to chase down King in here. The hook is going to come in, and Event Horizon will be good enough. They take out the Gatsante. It's a shutdown for Pyoshik and KT right back in this game. They want more here, but I don't know about this. Oh, boy, the kick over the wall, and Pyoshik's just going to flash away from the last little bit of that one. Other forms of CC. There oh, it is. look at that angle. Oh, God. And he's going to hook the wall with Barrel. Otherwise, he was dead. Kind of a sharp angle there. Not really Barrel's fault, but... 
A very nice E there as another hook does come in. The ult off the Showmaker, but he immediately goes down. It's a trade, though, as the mid laner DK goes away. And now King in. he is stuck in the box. And that will be the end of him. A two for one. Well, for him now, and D-plus very comfortable to actually just start this off. And it looks like KT are going to give it up. Yeah. Uh, DK, no, they, they say, okay, well, his Narbar oh. is running out. Um, now, Piosik is still going to look for the steal. As he is Lee Sin, he's got a very nice angle. He's looking for the kick. He wants the kills right into the cage. Goes aiming, and down he goes. As now Lucid is going to be able to pick up the Drake, but it's three kills to the side of KT. A big team fight win for them. Kill for BDD, a kill here. A fourth one for Pioshek, who sets it all up with a kick on to aiming. They want more here. Showmaker does have his ultimate, so this is very tricky to play out. Oh, perfect. He's going to get caught here. Goes a bit early, but OK, finally traded back as the dive is going to go the way of KT eventually, right? OK, they finally traded two for two. It's a double kill for Showmaker. In yeah. fact, all of the items to just not build it. Uh, but I'm sure he will. Perfect now in a little bit of trouble. Actually, a lot of trouble as the bubble is going to come through here as well. And King is just tanking up the turret. And that is a kill fed over to aiming. Oh, yeah. Perfect does not have TP. There's no way KT can stick this butt. Uh, OK, just run in a straight line. And maybe you avoid it all. But yeah, he's just dead. Crescent Guard not going to see Vagar and Varus. And the Gnar, the mini Gnar, coming on in. And as you mentioned, no flip because Lucid should not be here. The Event Horizon is placed down. They're looking for the turn now. King in is taking it up, and so is Beryl. And guess what? The Cassante is much tankier. He dodge. Pretty hard to lock down the Lucian. Okay, see if this third Event Horizon is going to be enough to get them something here. BDD should have it in a second. There it is. Ooh, it's going to go the way of Lucid, though, as he does take it down. Meanwhile, it does look like we have a Sacrificial Showmaker who does take a massive ult to the face. With TP, this is just a pipe dream. Kellen's going to try, or rather, King is going to try to flank. Yeah, they're going to send it 15 seconds until Showmaker is even alive. As will the steal come through. Lucid goes in. He steals it away. Away from Elise Sin. How does he manage to do that? As the flip comes through. And King, and he's still having some fun on the backside of this one. Eventually he goes down, but merely a Cassandra. I am. Uh, he's, he's not very tanky with just a Knight's Vow. I am very worried about KT in this in this series. Showmaker as well, having to get on in there as Bubble is going to come down, but just desperately trying to take out this mid tier one. They will get the job done. And, well, it's uh, critical. It's not a the carries, so they just gave it away. Question. Okay, um, they're just going to fight instead, I guess. The chain of corruption comes through, and Pioshik is just going to get stunned here on the front line. Not going to engage on that one, but now the Gnar into the wall. But that's Lucid on the Shin Zhao. Takes zero damage. In goes Pilshik and Barrel once again. But the damage is coming out here from Deft and BDD to push them away. Aiming not quite able to get access to that back line. And now it's Showmaker gone. Does look like DK does not want to follow up on this one. No, the real prize of the Dragon, though, is uh, Barrel. Or you could just face check in. That might just work. They're going to trade Cassante for Nautilus. And Barrel will take that. Kellen looks like he's just fish food at this point in time. He's going to be putting the cage flashes away as a few lands. And once again, in goes Pilsic, but he's going to be taken out by Lucian, who flashes away and gets away. He has been the target of so many of these engages for KT. If he's looking for an Emperor's Divide, they have punished him. He is actually going to push that turret um, in the bottom side, then back off. Oh, boy. The yeah, again, somebody has to face check, and it's Pioshik on the lead. Look to push ahead as it's Deft alone on the backside. He's just being assassinated by aiming, and 1Q will get the job done, and immediately the Varus is just gone. And that should be the Dragon going over to D+. Super greedy from Deft, but he wanted to get some poke down onto the back line while the rest of his team was pressing the river brush and he is just 100 to 0 by this Lucian no respect shown and it might actually work out if aiming just gonna face check this one and now it's his turn to get caught the 280 carries just being isolated and killed for essentially nothing. And King and lost half his health bar. Barrow's going in. Oh, he's going in. I'm not sure about that one, but if he can bait a big fight for his team, it might be the answer. But he is being chipped away, and down he will go. But the stun comes in. It's McHale's to save King, and now Showmaker gets in with the shuffle into that back lane. They take out the Event Horizon player that is the Vagar. And he is taken back. out, but now Deft is here. Perfect's here. They're on the chase. And Lucid doesn't have an ult. He's going to be taken out. He's got to get vision. They're not getting vision. The damage is being done right now. Look at KT already about to take out the Baron. And DK do nothing about it. They've used two of their aiming. 
That might be all you need. They're going to put the aggressive pressure on mid. Uh, yeah. Aiming is full build here and has an elixir even as well because just a huge amount of poke damage. Hey. Uh, the cage is already down. The damage is being done. They're just going to take it away. It's Hextech Soul. Inhibitor. The bounce damage, the slows from the Hextech Soul make this so difficult to compete against with the poke of death. And they can just continue to siege even if they don't get all of this push. And this is... Some of the ways he's been able to get huge plays for his team, but this time it's a Cassante that he finds. Not the uh, best target, but it's still enough damage with the Vega at this point in time. And now Perfect on the Meganar looking for the forward play. He's going to get this flash on in onto Lucid, who is caught out and slowed for pretty much forever and has to flash away. Now aiming uh, is dead. Okay, well that was not the angle he was looking for. That is... That's... <laughs> <laughs> is that just game? I think it is, right? No, they, they don't have enough minions. Media is going to push this wave in. They don't have Baron buff either. Showmaker is getting in there desperately trying to keep this wave away from the turret. Uh, but there is a cannon wave, a cannon minion rather, and that should be enough. All right, nice try, Showmaker, to clear that wave. Would have bought them enough time maybe for aiming to come back, but not going to uh, happen. Okay, well, that's the end of him as well, as one by one the dominoes fall, and KT. They are going to win at this game at number two, and we absolutely have a series all over our hands. And I don't even know what this is going to look like for the rest of it. Who's going to win? Nobody knows, but KT. I don't know if I like this one, Valdez. Uh, yeah. Um, and, and I'll tell you why, really briefly. He does nothing pre-6, really. He can try to help you out with the most oppressive... What that does mean is that, yeah, you can see the entire comp on both sides and, and make the best choice. As Bubble is going to come in here, that's a bit rough for Barrel, who might be in some trouble. Now they're just going to go all in as he presses Q towards him and burns him to a crisp. Barrel going to pick up that first blood. You silly D-plus bottom lane. You thought the combo was there. You thought Barrel was in trouble. He's got the heat. He's going to press Q towards him. He's got a heal and an ignite. And yeah, Lucian does a lot, but Rumble does more. Meanwhile, Meanwhile what in the top side? Perfect coming up with us. Kellen does go down bottom lane in shambles as we expected. And Sork boots first, so I'm sure Hooney's happy about that. Yeah. You know, uh, one of his only five-star ratings did go to Karius Rumble, which, um, again, another support Rumble that was Rumble played. On the back here as well, Barrel's Comet comes through. Piotrzyk's going to get this dragon. There is no punish here for Barrel. Like, Aiming wants to. But guess what? You don't win this trick. You never do. You, you bubble never comes do. in and uh, nope. Oh, this game is spicy if you're a D-plus fan. You are not happy with how this is going. Perfect has some rage here. Wants to set up for Pioshik. Yeah, Pioshik right here. Perfect pretty low. No Dominus, but maybe the Vi can save him. And the stun combo comes through, and Kingen will go down. 1,300 gold for Perfect. 800 uh -oh. gold. Maybe gone a little bit too far this time, Barrel. As finally we see Kellen and Aiming. Just to get him close. Knows that Barrel's powerful. Meanwhile, now he's ganking the top lane. And King, and he's like, wait, what the hell? Why is this guy here? Even Cassian has good. spawned here, and I just don't think realistically, great opportunity for D-plus to contest. Perfect does have teleport. King and does not. And he does not have a turret. They're really going to have to go back to the drawing board for game four as well. Speaking of which, they are going to pass that paranoia in onto the ass who does flash away. But not enough help here. And now Pioshik all alone. You see Death trying to help him here a bit. Lucy gets pretty low. And now a TP from BDD. Who's looking for a bit more. The flash Q. And two people caught in the cage. But Cleanse on through from aiming. He's not able to quite do enough damage. Pioshik thinking about it. But it's another kill. Going the way of BDD. A huge value teleport. And Perfect looking for a solo topside. Oh, Didn't even have to TP. Yeah, Kingen's... Is he even going to cast it? Okay, he is. He's going to get him under the turret. And now goes unstoppable. Doesn't matter. Perfect. Just take the turret down and continue with your lead. You don't have to overextend. You don't know exactly where the Nocturne is. I mean, maybe they did. With all their... But everybody on the side of... KT now looking to get on in as the arrow is going to ring true. Death does not miss those. And that is the end of Showmaker. Even going to throw out an Emperor's Divide. And Lucy was in there as well. So he will charge this turret in. Used his equalizer already. So not going to be following up with anything crazy after this charge. And they can just put up the event horizon and back away. Dragon is live. It's Hextech Soul again. They know he's in there. They are pinging this. They know that King is in there. But the rest of the team is very far forward as Lucid Gonna get one flash, but at the end of the day, it's just a dead king on the backside of this one. Yeah, he's made of cardboard, and uh, he has burned down.
Barrel just pressing Q, and he's like, all right, you think you can get me? I have Flash, by the way, didn't have to use it. Perfect is level 14, and he is sprinting at the enemy team. Meanwhile, Posick going in, taking a 1v2 and winning. KT are so far ahead at this point in time, as 1Q could get the job done, but not going to go into the Azir. D plus lost the early game here, and then we saw some crazy poor decisions, like aiming, for example, looking for the flash on the barrel and stuff like that, like the game four. That's another arrow. Oh boy, here we go again, and the combo is just utilized in Showmaker again. We've seen this before. He's gonna use the Empress Divide just as like a, a parting gift. He's like, okay, see you later. It was fun hanging out, and now I'm dead. Uh, that's going to be the end of Kellen as well, as DK are really kind of falling apart at the seams. You know, Showmaker's a frustrated player right now, but he's a professional. He's going to throw his keyboard in the air. The best he can hope for is to throw the ice by arrows from depth. He's like, do you want to take this fight? Sure, let's go. I don't know about it, though, as he is going to be shut down. And now King is going to pull Pioshik over the wall, and immediately KT giving them some angles back into this one. I don't know why Lucid is here. But I, I've given up on questioning, you know, the logic of certain things in this series at this point. Lucid on Calculated. the run. Whew. Yeah, no, he's, he's dead. Um, yeah, just effective. Could be rough is perfect. Yeah, he knows he's in trouble now as here is aiming and he's fed. He's tanky. Is he tanky enough? I mean, they're TPing into this as well, just to make 100% sure. And aiming will this get one goes. They're gonna just try to burst it down essentially. Yeah. Aiming on the front line, just trying to burst away barrel, and the culling gets so much value. The ash arrow is down. And the equalizer doesn't even get much. And now the peel with the ultimate here from the Nocturne, the paranoia, and all of a sudden, DK, they give themselves a chance, but now we got a very scary Renekton coming on in as we're just gonna move forward, and the flash is not good from depth. They take out the entire bottom lane of KT. And now it's a 5v3. I don't know if they really want to go for this one. BDD pretty low as well. KT are still in a really good spot in this game, but we were right in the <laughs> obituary perhaps a little bit too early as D-plus make, D make some clutch plays, get some shutdown gold here, are also going to get the bounty off of this turret. We're able to secure Dragon and the 5,000 gold. Well, there's Vision. There's a Nocturne. He, he does not have his ult, but he has Flash, and it's just going to be a flip again, and it goes to the Nocturne again! Lucy going to steal that one away, as, yeah, they're kind of just food at this point, but Kingen going to pick up a kill himself. Over the wall comes Barrel alongside a perfect, but Gaming has some space now, putting in some damage. The cage is just going to save them, but everybody's game. They're going to try this combo on a Showmaker, but look at the difference between now and 10 minutes ago when they did that same combo. Yeah, I mean, D-plus taking this inner in mid, Seven Emperor's Divide too. if anyone overextends. And you are feeling the lack of an engaged support here a little bit. All right, well, it's going to get the knock up on a barrel. He's dead, and the Equalizer is desperate. The angle here from aiming is beautiful. Alongside of his support, and now King is going to go super deep on this one. In goes Pioshing and Perfect, desperate to take out aiming, but they can't quite do it. Flashing in front of the Q, but this Renekton may be just too gigantic on the back line, going up against Lucid, who barely gets the kill with the Stride Breaker. All right, Deft also in this wins 1v1. in this fight. I mean, the Q comes in, Showmaker. But at the end of the day, they just got to give this one up. There's no chance for a steal, because they just don't have control. So KT at least get that one. But Showmaker's got other ideas on the bottom lane. Yeah, he's level 18 right now. Without high, how, how high the emotions are running on these players, the tension is real. Perfect, we'll get this mid turret down. They're getting a little bit of structural damage here. It's only 1,500 from this Baron. Yeah. Sieging, using the Hextech Soul. Barrel looking for an angle with the Equalizer. There it is, gonna hit pretty much everybody in the front line. Nice amount of chip damage just to allow them to push forward. Arrow as well utilized as immediate Mikhail's comes in. They want to hard engage to DK as the front line is just being melted. Down goes the Vi and Perfect nearly goes down as well through the Dominus. As right now, Showmaker and Aiming, if they can get in range, they will blow off a target as we just sit back, grab the popcorn. I know Chronicler, he brought some popcorn home from yesterday. Yeah. Continuing to push though, they have to be decisive KT here. Yep, they're going to start it up. And DK maybe just looking for the flip. That uh, could also be Nexus for Elder. We'll see how far he wants to go. He's not TP and into this one as there is vision in the pit and it goes.
goes to the Vagar, as you would expect. And Showmaker, he's still getting to work. They got to stop these backs. I don't think they're going to be able to. BDD TPs out of it, and he will just barely be able to save the base as the Elder go in the way of KT. They will win the fight, and Showmaker here, ooh, getting pretty spicy. I don't think he's going to win through the Elder and the stun. And KT, they just barely get the job done. Another wild and crazy game of League of Legends for KT and D+. We're now up to oh, nine point. of them this season. <laughs> nine crazy KT D+ games. No normal ones, just crazy ones. Just ones that you are on the edge of your seat gripping tightly. If you're a fan of either of these teams until the very end, you just do not know what is going to happen. KT had the advantage there. D+ decided to commit to the split push. It's not enough. The Bay All right, let's let's break it down. Like the, the this is how you use red side by the way. K, KT is 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 given a lecture cuz you lock in the Twisted Fate, you have top side control into the Rek'Sai. side. One of the only matches where you can get where some... Where Yoshik is as well, because again, the two junglers just totally avoided each other. But now they're going to wait for quite a long time. Perfect's going to get knocked up here and might be in some danger as... Could have maybe even just been a solo kill, to be honest. And it will! It's just going to be a solo kill, King and solo Perfect. event. Doesn't have teleport, didn't have level 6, but will end up maintaining that CS. But uh, it's they very have... much on vision. Yeah. And KT don't quite know, although they can easily suspect now. Pioshik knocked up mid-dash, has to flash, but he is so dead. I mean, there's just no getting out of that one after no side of the map. Gonna look to try to 4v4 on the Chemtech Drake. This one get could get pretty dicey as Lucid. Not even gonna go for it, for it. It's a big sweep from the side of Showmaker, and now the AoE damage is coming on in, and it's all coming up, K or rather DK, in this fight. It's now Barrel very deep in this one and he will obviously be taken out eventually question is to who yeah, uh, yeah they're just going to give it over to showmaker a man even stand out of the turret yeah and yoshi here alone might not be enough with a rotation up from lucid gold yeah. card is all he's got now he doesn't quite have it uh, lucid is here they're not gonna quite die this one yet as we have talia on the way as well as he gets uh Kind of bullied here, but now with the Senna help, maybe it's enough. They're going to try to turn this one off to Perfect, who is incredibly low. And again, Kangan is just unkillable. And so BDD moves in and uh, just dies after Showmaker makes his own TP play. And now Perfect is, uh, yep, just going to be sniped by Kangan. That was nothing else. Is uh, uh oh. Yeah, no, that 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 doesn't stop it. Perfect. <laughs> Especially with the frozen <laughs> heart at this point. Yeah, he's uh, he was a little bit of danger there, but... My god. Yeah, I mean, 625 for Rek'Sai, 500 for Showmaker, but a gold bottom side as well. It's 12 out of 15 plates. And Kingen is just like, you guys can't hurt me. Uh, well, they're going to try. Um, no, yeah. no, no. They tried. That, that's not the way it works. He's ulting back in to three people. He doesn't care. It's now a gold card comes in, and here's Pioshik as well to try to win this one. Is it enough damage? No. Nope, he's going to heal up again. And eventually, I think as the turret goes down, maybe, okay, they finally get the job done. But it's in trade for an inner. They needed four people. They needed now, D+, plus, if we get to 25 minutes, and then they start losing, that's when that's when, that's when it happens. Like, we, my issue is that this is a Senecom, and a Tom Kench is starting to get well and truly tanky here. And yes, KT had a Bagar. It could happen here, but you're dealing with Showmaker, who's also on two items now on the Sazir. I just don't see it. Well, he's going to try to get it as the sweep comes in, but Showmaker just going to be devoured as well. And he'll be totally fine. Barrel has to flash away from this one. As he goes back in, gets the hook. Do they have the damage? Yes, they do. As now BDD going to trade it back one for one in the support role. Very scary there for the side of KT, but they are able to get that kill. Onto the Tom Kench. And they continue to siege here. Lucid is on the flank. <laughs> oh no, BDD! He's getting wrecked side right now, and yeah, he's even gonna get flanked on by Lucid. And they tank up the turret to make that happen. They don't even need to necessarily do this, as now it's gonna be a massive shutdown. Yep. And now the Hextech plus, Greek. We'll get the Hextech uh Helen. Super tanky here. Doesn't have any uh, resources, so let's see how tanky he really is. It's going to take a while to do this. I mean, they're going to try to burst down the TP turret, and they get it down, but the TP does come through from the side of Kingen. It's a 4v2 at this moment as Kingen up against the wall. He couldn't do anything. He couldn't move, and that's going to be the end of Kellen. But it doesn't matter because 
your entire base is getting killed. Yeah, I mean, this is just a push to inhibit the enemy jungle here for DK, and now they're going to look for Barrel, who does not uh, have a pull into the wall, it seems. Now he's going to use it, but he's already dead. So that's the end of him. Out. Ian Kellen just going to try to deny Piosha from getting a Q in, forcing his flash. Yeah, you see King in over the wall, just here to zone, and uh, Piosik doesn't really have an in. He's going to go in onto the Tom Kent and gets devoured. And just held in the mouth for quite a while, and uh, that should be the end of that. Piosik desperate. Nice little kick there to potentially save him, but who am I kidding? There's a Rek'Sai who does get into that back line, and he's flashing on top of the Jinx as well, who is not going to get excited. As over the top, here comes the Jax, and that just might be the nail in the coffin. We'll see how many kills they do get on the back of this side, or this fight rather, as BD on the kite is not good enough, as even the gold card will be denied of the saving of the lives. It's now DK gonna push into the top side, and we will have our silver scrapes. There we go, that's all it takes. A nice attempt there from KT, all things considered. Perfect avoids death, tries to set up the gold card, but they are just hit over the head by the 11,000 gold lead. The wallets of D+, too heavy in this one. An oppressive early game. The lost lane for perfect. Bottom side of disaster. And Showmaker coming up big, finally waking up in this series. And D+, as you say, will bring us to five games. The Prophecy for Silas. Oh, look at that. Saved for R5. Imagine using that for counterpick. There you go. They finally figure it out. They figured it out, Valdez. And it's so good. It's, I mean, I mean, this is Yoshi coming over. BDD. Oh, he's going to flash, but he flashes and immediately gets chained up. And the, the truth is, like, this is a so high value pick for this player historically. He has a 70% win rate on And King and plays it safely, uh, knowing his team is doing the bottom objective. And not much that Barrel can do here as Pioshik is found. Jumping Very awkward survive. spot for him. I mean, there's just no escape. He doesn't even flash. He's like, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm caught. Showmaker from the mid lane, and this is a mini Gnar without hop, without flash. And he gets slowed up, and he is just absolutely dead. Another pick that Meganar. This is just this is free. I mean, there's just no way to get out of this, really. Orange and, buff. Yeah, orange buff making his return. Okay, well, this is one way. Delay and get some TPs. Now we got a TP in from Showmaker as well. And BDD's like, oh, God, why did I even come up here? <laughs> it's, uh, you know. But again, it's the Silas pick that you don't see coming. Sometimes with Showmaker, when it's the R5 counter pick, you kind of wait and you go, which meta pick will you play or is he going to play something new? And you just, it's one of those yeah. Silas draft picks or Showmaker more often as BDD in trouble. Oh, here we go again. Kicked immediately into the Pop Blossom. He goes down. Mad respect with this guy's pathing, but just, I mean, I guess that is in a way what he said. And the yeah. it can happen is really the question. Lucid spotted on the flank. As now the Chain of Corruption does come down. Immediately, Fate's Call going to be used pretty early on here. Lucid on the flank. Pilsik getting low, they're going to use the Fates Call, they get Lucid in the back line, but Pilsik is already dead as the Nako comes in at a death. Perfect has to flash away, and that should be an easy smite going the way of DK on this one. As, okay, they'll eventually do it, there you go. And now looking for a bit more, they get the chains in onto death as now he's hopping away for dear life. But there's a Lee Sin who is in the thick of things, gets the slowdown, and BDD desperate to get away from this one. But he will also be taking out DK, take a big fight win. And the only reason, the only reason. And that bit more might just get them over the line. Showmaker, when he wants to show up, he's sick right now. Gotta be careful, don't wanna get comboed. But at this point, I mean, they haven't really made a mark on this game just yet. It's not quite as one-sided as game. Sorry to add up. Yeah. And BDD, there's no Emperor's Divide angle. Look at the split from D+. Who do you hit? Who do you engage on? They're trying to wrap around for him almost too many angles. And look at the poke that's coming out from Showmaker himself. Not to mention the Lethality Varus. And already, this is going to leash. That is not a great scenario. We do have Meganar timing here. Let's see if KT can get a pick. Because that's what you have to do. I mean, you have to push on the Showmaker, but because he has the Alistair ultimate, I don't think you kill him. Now trying to find Kellen, but that's a fake. And they've just lost full control of the Snar ultimate, uh, getting very little. Okay, well, that's perfect alone. I mean, Kellen is going to get pretty low, and in fact, has to flash away from this one. Kind of an awkward spot for him BDD. to get caught on. BDD on this flank, too, wants to make a heroic stand on this dragon. Yoshik has not been winning these smite wars. Both these teams are playing this so slow, so carefully. 
King, and now he's taking a decent amount, but a huge piercing out comes through and goes to Lucid on the Lee Sin. He's gonna pick it up, and Showmaker just gonna enter the fight. Now he's gonna miss the chains, but he is unkillable. Flashes on a death and will take him out. BDD is all alone. In goes Pilchik, he dies as well, and DK are so have Infernal Soul for all that extra damage. Oh no. Perfect. Oh no. <laughs> oh, trying to predict the hop. It's not gonna happen. And Perfect is going to stay calm. But that's still going to be Baron going over to the side of D plus here. Perfect lives. And that's the definitely more painful. Oh, man. No flash on Lucid. They thought maybe they had the angle. But he's just jungler and Lucid. We knew he had it in him. But uh, just, uh, you know, slow, uh, slow growth from the side of Lucid. He's coming in here when it matters most. And DK just one step away from taking this and moving on to double elimination in the playoffs. BDD ulted to try to kill Lucid. He doesn't have his ult back up just yet. So D plus, no, there's no real engage threat here. If they just maintain their distance and let the ranged minions, the cannon minions do the work, slowly chipping away at this base. They don't have to end the game right now. They already got an inhibitor and they will have Pryo. Of course, the inhibitor being down top side means it's on the opposite side of the map of the elders. So that pressure will be there. And KT will have to respond to that when the Elder spawns. If we get to that point, if they don't die in the next 230, well, that's what I'm saying is KT, they're under so much pressure. Yeah, they're just going in for this one. Look at the damage out of this. Silas, it's insane, and he's unkillable because he has a breakable will. Yeah, and he's, he just continues to take this Alistair ultimate and get huge value out of it. It's the best one. And BDD, Lucid's winning the flips. Well, this is not what I meant. Pilchik. Uh, <laughs> He's gonna get caught out, and he flashes, and he doesn't have Crescent Guard, he is dead. I don't know if we get to the Elder anymore. I think with the dead, Jin Zhao, D-plus are saying, that's three in Hibs, and we're pushing to end. They're just so strong at this point, and Fate's Call is picked up here from the side of Showmaker. <laughs> you see the zoom in as well. Just the insane amount of damage that they are doing in this front line, aiming, running through the soldiers. It's just gonna get Fate's Call. And what are you gonna do? You can't catch anyone. D plus Kia on the doorstep to winning in this first match of the playoffs. And they're taking their time with it. They do not want to overstep. Stacking these waves here. They have the Elder as a backup win condition. Koshik, no flash. Look at how low he's got. Oh, no. BDD. BDD just tries to send it. He gives it at all. his all, but it is not quite enough. Showmaker is underneath the turrets, and he does not care because he still has that Alistair ultimate. This game is over as D plus Kia will be moving on to the next stage of the double elimination bracket here at the Uri Bank playoffs. As down will go the Nexus, this best of five goes to D plus Kia. Showmaker, 